how what's up guys so today we're going to continue our inventory system and i'm going to teach you how to equip the items and how to drop the items in the world okay so let's begin first things we need is go to our inventory folder blueprints and open our inventory component now essentially what we want to do here is clear the actor that is attached to our end object okay in order to do that, we have to do that on the server. So we have to create a custom event for that. So here we're going to say add custom events and call it detach server. Now we're going to set this to run on server. We're going to grab the end object. We're going to convert it into a validated get. Connect this here. And from here, we're going to say set child actor class and set it to nothing okay so essentially this will clear the end object now next thing we're going to do is create a function that will uh, call this event so here we're going to create a new function and call it clear hand now we're going to grab the detach server event that we created and now we're going to grab the active item and set it to nothing Okay, so if we remove the item from the hand, then we also want to set the active item to nothing. Now, instead of calling this function from outside of this component, what we're going to do is make sure the equip function will uh, equip and unequip the item depending on the way it is called. So here we can open the equip function. We can move this a little bit. And from here we can say not equal. We can connect the active item over there. We can say branch, connect this here, connect the true over there. And uh, if the ID is different from the active item, then we equip the item. But if it is the same, then we want to unequip. So we're going to grab the clear hand function and call it over here. So if it is false, we clear the hand. Now, if we compile and save and hit play now, if we pick up the cube and press one, I equip it. And if I press one again, I unequip it. As you can see, now we can equip and unequip the items. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a function to drop the items. Okay, so here we're going to create a new function and call it drop this will receive the id of the item that we want to drop so here it will be id this will be a name and uh the first thing we want to do here is uh check if the id is empty because if it is we're going to use the active item so we're always going to drop our current item and if not, we're just going to drop the ID that the user specified, okay? So from here, we can say equal. So if it equals to nothing, we can say select. We can connect this over here. And uh, if it equals to nothing, we're going to get our active item and connect it to the true. If not, we're going to use the ID, okay? Now, this one, we can promote it into a local variable and call it current. So it's the current item that we're trying to drop. Okay. Now, uh, we can say get item to call the utility function that we created before and get the item values. Now, here we can say branch. So if we find the item, we continue. And uh, what we need to do now is essentially uh, spawn a pickup with the values that come from this get item function okay now to do that we also need to do that on the server so we need to go to the event graph and over here we're going to add a custom event and call it drop server we're going to change this to run on server over here and here we're going to say create actor from class sorry spawn actor from class connect this over here and this one we're going to search for bp pickup okay so this way we will be able to spawn a pickup in the world with the item that we are trying to drop 
So the ID, we can connect it over there. And the drop item, we can connect it over there. Now, uh, the transformation, we can split the structure here and we will need to specify a location where we want to spawn the pickup, okay? And this will be our actor location. So here, we're just going to create a new function called get location. And we can move this to the private category and then we can set this to private, okay? Now, from here, we're going to say get owner and we already know that this is our character so we can say cast to character connect this over here from here we're going to say get actor location we're going to split this structure uh, from here we're going to say get capsule components this one and from here we're going to say get half height capsule half height so this way, uh, we will be able to subtract this uh, to our actor location so that we can find the foot position, okay? Here, we can say make vector to make a new one, and we can connect the X, the Y, the Z, we can say subtract. We can connect this over here and connect the Z over there. Now here, we can say return, connect this over there, connect the location there, and that's basically it. Now, uh, we're going to go back to the event graph. Uh, we're going to move this uh, and get our location from the character. So we can call the function over here, connect the location over there. And that's basically it. Um, now we can go back to our drop function and call this event. So we can grab the drop server and call it over here. Now the drop item will be the item that we're receiving over here and the ID will be our current item. So here we can say um, get current like this. Um, and essentially what we also need to do is make sure that we remove that item from our items list. So we're going to grab the list, get and say remove. And essentially, we're going to remove our current item. So here we can say get current and connect it over there. We can organize it like this. And that's basically it. Now, um, the last thing we're going to do here is make sure, for example, if this item is equipped, we're going to unequip it. Okay. So here uh, we can uh, grab our current value. So get current this one sorry here we can say equals to the active item we're going to say branch connect this over here and uh, basically if this item that we are trying to drop is equal to the active item we're going to call the clear hand function okay like this and that's basically it so um, now we can go back to our character. So content, third person, blueprints, character. And over here where we had these keys, uh, we're going to say G keyboards and use the G key to drop our item. So I can grab the AC inventory, say drop. And essentially, if I don't specify an ID, I'm always going to drop the current active item. So compile save and if I press play now, I'm going to pick up the cube and press 1 to equip it. And if I press G, as you can see, now I'm able to drop the item. Now, uh, if you want, for example, to auto equip the items, which is useful, we can go to the pickup item function that we created. And after we receive the item, we're just going to equip it. OK, so here we can move this here. We can break these links and from here we're going to say branch like this and now we can grab the ac inventory say equip connect this over there like this now the success will be true because we successfully received the item and the id will be the id from the function input so get id this one and we can organize this like this. 
And that's basically it. So now uh, if I pick up this item, I will automatically equip it. I can press 1 to uh, unequip it. I can press G to drop it. And as you can see, everything is working fine. I can now use the pistol. I can drop the pistol and everything is working. So uh, that's basically it, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something with it. And don't forget to subscribe.